All right, welcome back to Black Magic Fu <coughs> Forkery. Um, let's get ready to melt our brains or something like that. We'll start off with one that looks kind of close to number 19 with uh, with stone waves. Whatever, whatever that means. Oh, it's like there's a lot of there's a lot of sand in the water, and so it kind of looks okay. It's not that brain melting. It, it's a cool looking effect, but I mean, yeah, I. I can I can see how it happens, you know. When you go to the beach, usually the water has quite a bit of sand in it. When you're up close, and these are just slightly larger grains of sand, so they pile up. And I saw actually I don't know if it was on this, but I saw a gift the other day of water that was freezing right as it washed up on the beach. That was pretty cool. That was really cool. I think a little bit cooler than this, but maybe we'll run into it here. Or there was another separate. I don't know. French horn players truly have magical powers. Uh. Oh, dude, I've I've seen that before. <laughs> it's so cool. I don't know if I saw it on this subreddit, but I've seen it on Reddit before. I feel like most people can make that happen. I don't know. Do you need to have the liquid inside the glass, though? Or can you just do it regardless? I think the other one that I saw, the dude had it, like, spinning around super fast at first, and then it finally, like, popped out. Or maybe you have to be an expert French horn player to, to make it work. But, I mean, I guess you just, you know... You get a surplus of air, the pressure will knock it out or something. Sorry, I don't mean to sound like R slash I'm very smart, but anywho, plasma gun <coughs> forkery. I didn't even know plasma guns were a thing outside of Halo. Is it? Whoa, what in the world? Is it actually shooting a thing that's gonna. That's cool. Dude, that's wild. I'm gonna be honest. I was real into science in school. And I still don't even really know what the definition of a, a plasma is, right? Isn't it like that magical, it's a magical fourth state of matter that's not quite a gas, not quite a solid, not quite a liquid, not quite an anything, like just in a supercharged electron state or something. I don't know how it works, but that's real cool. I wonder if that whole tube thing, that whole tube mechanism in the beginning is necessary or it's just so it looks really, really cool as you have the whole thing winding down the barrel. Damn, that's wild. I don't need my Elon Musk flamethrower anymore. Elon Musk, can you make one of those instead? Because that's just so much cooler. I mean, I do have that thing on pre-order. I'll make a video on it when I get it, as with everyone else in the world. Fried vermicelli. Vermin... Ver... Vermice, vermicelli? I don't know how you pronounce that. Is this a type of noodle? I what in the world? That's so cool! What? <laughs> That's amazing! Is it- I need to see the aftermath, I need to know the texture. Is it like a regular pasta, nice and soft? Or are they crunchy and, and kind of fried? Because it looks like you put it in oil and it kind of fries it. And I'm- by that last little bit there, it looks like it's pretty hard and crunchy. I feel like if I were- if I worked as a cook, I'd want to work in a place that makes that. So I would just never be bored. I would be thoroughly enthralled and want everyone to be ordering that. I'd like walk out into the restaurant, hey everybody here! I'm new, and that that stuff. Can you order the vermicelli on the the menu? I just I like making it. Thanks, everybody. back to the kitchen. All right, thanks guys. I appreciate it. it. Tastes good too. You should try it. Ice mold staying in place after driving away. This is like uh, what was it on the last mildly interesting. Um, the you know after the snow had melted or after the water had gone away from the flood and there was that layer of ice on top in the trees. This is actually an even cooler version of that, and I think I've seen it before. Probably unmildly interesting. Dude, how cool would that be if you backed away your Jeep? It's like you can even tell it was a Jeep. You back away your Jeep and you see that there. You'd be like, what in the world is on the front of my car? And then you walk over. That'd be so sick. That'd be amazing. Like Jesus, but sitting down. This dude just gonna come barreling down. I, f I feel like he's practiced this a few times before. <laughs> he just wait, like he just he puts the shirt back down, walks away. He's like, yeah, no, I, I'm, I've got this down, dude. I want to go to a place that ejects you so fast out of a slide that you can skip across water. That's amazing. That's so sick. Where do you go for this? I'm not, I'm not really into water. I don't know if I've established that in past videos. Water kind of scares me. The whole thing that you can drown because you can't breathe in it, but I wonder if there's a place in Hurricane Harbor where you can actually kind of slide across the water like this, because I kind of want to do it. This is not a GIF. 
Oh god, if you scroll up and down... Ugh! No! Hold on, I'm gonna wobble. I can do this thing where I wobble my eyes. It's kind of weird, but I don't- if I do it at this, I wonder if it'll like... I- it, it- don't mind me. It's just- it's a thing that I can do where I like... kind of shake my eyes back and forth. I don't know, I've always had this... I don't, would you call it a talent, or would you call it just a goddamn weird thing to be able to do? Either way, it tends to freak people out. I think I've done it on video before, but you don't get, doesn't really get the effect unless you scroll up and down the page. Oh my God, I don't like it. Ugh, God, let me show you a magic trick. Who's, who's magicking who here? <laughs> Wait. I guess that's one way to, um, utilize your, your body, um, in a very uh, unique fashion that, um, not many other people have an opportunity to do. <laughs> that must never get old for that guy, just anywhere he goes with a big crowd. I feel like the only way that that could have been made better, if I can provide some constructive criticism, is next time around, he should, after he removes his hand, he should kind of continue to chew. You'll like keep his mouth kind of inflated, do some chewing, and then force like a big swallow. How though? Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder how that would perform in the Olympics. I was watching the ski slope style competition, and in most of them, well basically in all of them, like they, they approach the rails with pretty considerable speed. Uh, and you know, there were some people who did a few few little turns on the rails that they had set up, but no one did that. I would eat it so hard trying to do any- I have never, ever, ever, I have never tried a circular rail on a snowboard, because I will die. Right, left, right, left. Okay, so it's a kind of a spinning wireframe image? Right, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, wait, what's going on here in the- my brain broken because I can only see- Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, it just swapped for- Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It just swapped for a moment for me. Hold on, does it go in both directions? It says look away, then look back at it. Wait, okay. Switch. 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 It's not doing it. Not doing it. Why isn't it doing it? Okay, go- Other- I can only see it going to the right. Right now. I saw a little glimpse of it when I scrolled down the page. Okay, where's left? Come on. I can't make it happen. It just looks like it's going to the right. Are you going left now? No! It's only spinning that! It's only spinning that! Oh my god, this is frustrating. Well, in any case, I'm sure that you watching this, since you're seeing the same thing... Oh, there it goes! It's spinning left now! It just changed! Oh my god, it's spinning to the left! How did this happen? I don't know how this happened. Now it's spinning to the right again! Now it's left! Wait, and now it's... Now it's right... Okay, now, now it's left. Oh, I'm having a moment here! What's now it's spinning to the right. I looked away slightly. Now it's going left. It's like doing figure eights now. I don't know what changed. I don't know what changed, but it changed. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know what's happening anymore. Okay, the, now it's overwhelming. Oh, everything changed. Everything changed at the end there. Ah, uh, well-rounded meal. Like literally well-rounded, I assume. Where did that come from? Why did that? Oh, it was like a ball. It's like where in the... What in the world is happening here? That's amazing. Is it, it just heated up enough that, but it's airtight? And then it just turns into a ball? And then it's like, oh my God. I don't know if, if you've ever watched Chef's Table, but the episode on Alinea, they have this um, balloon that they do out of like a sugar kind of coat. I don't think they make it like this, but they like inflate it and then they serve it. And it just, I want to go there just to have the balloon honestly, and everything else. But it's also booked out like months in advance and I have to travel to Chicago for it, but it's kind of reminds me of that, except I don't know what this is made out of and I want to find out now and I want to try it. Science, witchcraft, to and fro. Oh yeah, it's gonna, wait, the more you spin it, it changes into different colors. I, we definitely did a reaction like this in, uh, in science class in high school. I've completely forgotten how it actually worked. I don't think it had so many layers of colors to it. It was more like when you left the solution still, it'd be one color. You swish it around and go to another, 
and then you leave it back still and it goes back to what it was. And I think that's what's gonna happen here. It's gonna go back to its initial state, right? Mm-hmm. It's like as you energize whatever is in there, it reacts, and then once you stop energizing it, it'll go back to the way it was. It's really cool. Come on, you can do it. You can go all back, go back all the way. There you go. Back to yellow. Case, okay, holy hell. Oh, is this the stacking dude? This is the stacking dude. All right, here we go. He's gonna stack everything. How do you, yeah, you're like, well, I don't understand. I don't, what? How are you gonna do, how? I don't, I don't get it. I don't, like, and then he's gonna put the other ones on top. It's just all of a sudden, it's perfect. Snaps, magic. Like, he's just traveling somewhere. Had a bunch of drinks that night. Pulls out the camera. All right, YouTube. Here we go. I'm only slightly inebriated from this large 700 ml bottle of sake that I had, but uh, don't worry. It cools me down. It actually, honestly, probably is relaxing to have had a bit of alcohol before going for something like this, because otherwise you would just get so frustrated. How in the world do you do that? Frozen in time. Man, if if only you guys had uh I wonder if they hit it when there was that whole they must have hit it when there was that whole challenge um that everyone was doing on like Snapchat or Instagram or whatever where everything was frozen. So this must be a, a little bit old, but very dedicated. Even taking the time to string things up from the ceiling. Very impressive. God, that must have taken a a whole whole lot of time to set up jesus christ dedication hey it got 1.4 million on here and this is probably just a gif re-upload so wherever it went initially probably performed very well you know the views uh they justify everything wait are these the same people well now i'm really confused wait oh my god hold on these are now i just realized that some of the people in this video are in it twice doing different things so they had some cuts in between yeah because you were it oh oh god now where where are the oh god these are the same pe now oh now i'm freaking out these are the same people and so where did you do the cuts oh my god maybe there's a cut there because you're the same person oh my and you're the now on the second watch through it's it's gotten even it's gotten even crazier. Can you imagine if this was filmed in one take and they just had to switch positions that quickly? Because they could have had it all set up and all that because they're in different rooms. But I don't want to know if that was one continuous take and they were like running around the house. Real dedication and choreography if that was one take. Door turns opaque when locked. Hey, this is like the uh, the Prada dressing rooms. Um, pretty cool. You, want to, you apply an electric current to like fancy glass and then it goes frosted. It's real nifty. I remember uh, it was probably like 20 years ago. I went to the Prada store with my dad on Rodeo Drive literally just because he's an architect and he thought they were really cool. And we went in just so he could show these to me. And I was like, yeah, this is awesome. Dude, I love this. Another amazing use of Face ID sensors on an iPhone X. Oh, I saw this one. The other day. Oh, this is so cool. The only the only issue is it only works obviously for one person because it's tracking where your eyes are. I guess this person's probably putting the camera like right next to their eyes because the phone probably can only track the face and not the camera. Man, I never thought about like, yeah, all the different applications you can use the face sensor for. That augmented reality that you can do with that? That's pretty damn nifty, huh? Hydraulic press versus stack and playing cards. <laughs> that's amazing. That's like, uh, that's more oddly satisfying than anything. I could just watch this all day. I could watch this all day, I say, as I'm looking directly at the camera, not actually watching it. Is this the hydraulic press channel on YouTube? It could be. It looks like a different one, though. Well, I'm sure you can put different attachments. This one has a, a blade, but it looks different than their setup. That's pretty cool, though. That's a cool use. And the top black magic forkery of the last month, Wizards of the Sow. 
Um, okay. So. Wait, how did it just disappear? It's just, it's gone? Is that, what? What, how did that? Is this how they make alterations to, like, suits and stuff? Because I've always wondered. Yeah, because when they make alterations to suits, like, you can never see any of the stuff that they've done. And that, oh my god, is that how they do it? This answers so many questions. I'm like, do you guys actually tailor this for me? Or did you just hold on to it for a few days to make it look like you were doing something? And it's just, it's a placebo effect that, oh, it fits better. No, no, wow. That's really cool. And then you can't see it. Oh my god. It answered so many questions for me as someone who obviously wears suits all the time. I own like one that's too small because I got it before I started going to the gym. So I need to get another. And now I will know what they've done. Well, I won't know where, but I'll know how they did it so that I don't see a thing. What an art form. I could just use some rainbow colored thread and you'd never know it. Oh my god, I feel like I've learned so many things today. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch up on more Reddit related videos. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to listen to the music playing in the background right now, link is in the outro over on Mare Music. I'll see you next time.